guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha. Today I am back with another foundation wear test. I'm not sure if I'll make it to 10 hours today. I'll get to 8 hours at least. Today's foundation of choice is the J-Cat Aquasurance in the shade Porcelain. So I bought this off Ulta for $13.99. The details read, J Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation contains a finely milled formula that minimizes the appearance of pores. This innovative hydrating power is non-clogging that absorbs and balances excess oil without looking cakey. The compact has a water lock system to maintain moisture within the powder, which can't be found in an average compact. It blends effortlessly, providing medium to full coverage for a flawless finish. The sponge is anti bacterial that delivers airbrush effect for a flawless finish. I have been using this a little bit, but I haven't used it on its own yet. I haven't used it for just a powder foundation day. I've been using it to set liquid foundation in the last week. I'm pretty excited to see how this holds up on a wear test completely by itself. Me personally, I love powder foundation. I have an entire video I'll link in the cards about how to slay with powder foundation. So typically I apply my powder foundation with a brush, especially when I am setting a liquid foundation with my powder foundation. But this compact does come with the little spongy thing which is supposed to be antibacterial. I think I'm gonna do this half of my face with the sponge it comes with and then this side with the brush. I will have days where I just wear powder foundation so I am very familiar with powder foundation so I feel like I'm going to give this a good test and run for its money. I have acne prone and oily skin as well so we're gonna be really putting this foundation to the test per usual. I will say though um, I haven't filmed in a couple weeks and I went to the dermatologist a little over a month ago we got on a new regime my skin has improved significantly just in the last couple weeks I mostly just have this old pigmentation like this is all flat right here I did learn from a dermatologist on TikTok this pigmentation are not actually considered scars because they don't like they're flat like they don't go into my skin they're just post inflammatory pigmentation which will fade quite a bit in the next couple months I still have quite a bit to cover up if you're having problems with your skin, go to a dermatologist if you are able to. I know not all of our insurance covers that and everything, but anyway, let's get into the foundation, shall we? When I wear powder foundation, I like to start with a light dusting of translucent powder. Now this does depend what kind of moisturizer I used prior. We're getting closer to spring and I've started to use a lighter moisturizer. I'm just gonna do a super light dusting of translucent powder before I go in with the powder foundation. Foundation. I find that just starting with at least a little of translucent powder makes it so that powder foundations blend out easier onto the skin and it just makes powder foundation a little bit easier to work with. Today I'm using the Cody Airspun. You don't have to do that step, like that's totally up to you, but that's just something I kind of like to do. Here is the sponge. It's a pretty thick sponge actually. I'm going to dip in. Not bad. Kind of dab this around, kind of spread it out. Okay, yeah, I would say with this sponge that it comes with, I would say this is uh, medium coverage. Let's add a little more. It's been a hot minute since I've used one of these to apply powder foundation. Maybe I'll go back to it. I kind of like it. Also, side note, I just want to say, if you're going to be going in with a powder foundation, make sure you moisturize your skin really well. If you're not, like, evenly moisturized in the skin area, powder foundation is not going to work very nicely with you. I don't wear concealer every day. If I were to wear some concealer, I would have put it on first. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little concealer. I didn't get much around my eyes, so I'm just going to do a little right in here. Okay, my concealer went on pretty well, even though I probably had a little foundation, so I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Some finishing touches on this side. With the compact, this is definitely building pretty nicely. So far, I like it. I'm just gonna kind of stipple it in. I'm just kind of going in and picking this up. It's building up pretty good. I feel like it was faster to build it up with a sponge. So, 
This is the side with the brush. This is the side with the compact. Uh, honestly, I like both. I think they ended up looking pretty much the same. If this is the only foundation you're going to use, like you're not going to set a liquid foundation with this, I actually kind of like using the sponge more than the brush just because it was, it seemed faster. If I'm going to be using this to set a liquid foundation, I would definitely stick with using a brush. Just my two cents on that. Overall, I think this looks pretty nice. I think I could build it up a little more here, but I don't really feel like it today. It'd definitely be possible to build this up to a full coverage. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off my base with a tad bit more translucent powder, mostly in my T-zone where I get the oiliest. You don't have to do this, but I have oily skin, so I'm just doing a little bit more. We are done with the initial base. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll check back in. All right, we're back. We kept the makeup pretty simple today, uh, but we're not doing setting spray. So we're gonna see how this foundation holds up just on its own. So far, I would say I like it. I like the finish, it has a nice natural finish. I think it built pretty good. I think it's pretty true to that medium coverage. When my skin has been struggling or I'm having breakouts, I tend to go more for like a full coverage. So like if you are having some active breakouts and you're trying to, you know, cover stuff up, which pff, I've been there, look at my previous videos. If you're looking for something that's like really full coverage, I don't know if this would be your girl. My everyday foundation, my Mineral Fusion, I think has better coverage than this. Yeah, so far so good. First impression, I like it. Typically powder foundations wear pretty well on me because I have oily skin. We are going to commence with the wear test. So I will check back in with you at a later time. Peace. All right, hi guys, I'm back. We have made it to the nine hour mark. I'm tired. Nine hours, here's how we look. I'm not really seeing any problem areas. Maybe this area, you can start to see it's looking a little makeup-y, it's starting to break down. Oils on my nose have come through. Nostril area, not too shabby. Overall, I have positive things to say. Is it the best powder foundation I've ever used? Um, probably not, just because I've used powder foundations that have better coverage, but those foundations like Mineral Fusion and Bare Minerals powder foundation are also more expensive. I would say for like a drugstore powder foundation, 14 bucks, this foundation's gonna get a thumbs up from me. I'm glad I bought it. I'm definitely gonna use it. I'm gonna use it up. This might be one that I actually repurchase. We'll have to see. I have a couple other powder foundations from the drugstore that I wanna try. Also, I want to mention this Aqua Assurance powder foundation. The shade range wasn't too great. I think they only have like 14 colors or something like that. Shade Rage, mm, not doing too hot. Okay, well I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you get a notification every time I post a video. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.